As you guys know, each year we try to grow a new fruit in our yard. And this year my dad bought three cherry carmine jewel bushes. It says $27.84, but it, we got it for about $7. So it's the end of the season, it's July, and that's when they usually want to get rid of all of them. That's why we got it on discounted price. In mature, it should grow to five to six feet tall and five to six feet tall. This variety is a bush, not a tree, so it'd be perfect height for a picking. Now I'm going to show you where we'll plant these. It's March 28th, 2020. We're in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic, so we've been indoors for the last few weeks and anxious to do some gardening. And I came out here this morning. I was gonna, you see, I was gonna start pulling these carmine cherries that planted in the fall. Got it on a reduced price because it was already the end of the season. And uh, they were dead towards the end of the, the season, so I came out here to pull them out. But I've noticed it's not dead. Got some new leaves coming, so probably was just hibernating early from all the stress. Uh, it's a good thing we brought it back to life. Even this one right here. So you notice there's cuts over here. Um, that's from the rabbit. They've been eating it in the winter time. You can see there's cuts over there too. But all of these have buds so they are alive carmine jewel cherries are alive Or jewel carmine. You can see there are fruits. We just planted this in the fall, and it looks like we're going to get some fruits this year. It seems to be a prolific bush cherry, so we get to see. Very nice. This one doesn't have any, kind of suffered a lot. The rabbits got to it and chopped off most of it. The other ones are doing okay. It's a lot. And let's walk towards our jewel carmine cherries. We've actually never tried these before. And they're a little bit smaller than regular cherries. And I also need to look online to see when they will ripen. And we have a lot of these on these small bushes.
Oh yeah, there's a lot of red ones. I think more red. Look at this red one. They're so pretty. But they're sour. Not too bad. Oh, it's good. Sour. Look that one. The red one right there. We'll leave it down here because we do a lot of bunnies, baby bunnies. And as you can tell, they're pretty much I've been eating plants down here. And we've got some milkweeds, but I haven't seen any caterpillars. It is October 1st and that's how the jewel carmine cherry is doing. So it's kind of going wild here with all these things. So I may prune this before winter hits. So I have a nicer growth in the spring. It is January 1st, 2021. 2020 was a very hard and difficult year because of the pandemic. But this is what the jewel carmine cherry looks like in bush. It actually produced some fruits in uh, 2020. So that's how it's looking right now. And hopefully this year we'll have more abundance uh, harvest.